Everyone would love to have a fresh, clean living space to come home to each day. And while a part of that is up to us, we can put some house plants to work to keep our air clean quite effectively. Thankfully, NASA's clean air study helps us know which are effective. Whether you are in a small apartment or a big house, having clean air is important. Plants are great for removing carbon dioxide from the air, but some plants are even more powerful than that and can do a great job improving the air quality in your home. Plus, they look great and carry a great energy. Here are our top 13 oxygen bomb plants that clean the air in your home. Pelargonium This beautiful flower does a great job cleaning the air, removing unwanted odors, killing bacteria, and it also helps to keep the moths away. If you use essential oils from the plant, they are great for sleep and calming the nervous system. Spider plant The spider plant requires natural light but shouldn't be exposed directly to the sun. We have a bunch of these around our office and we love them. They thrive quite easily and don't take much maintenance. They do a great job of sequestering carbon monoxide, so a kitchen is a great place for these. You can even make more plants from this plant very easily as it grows baby versions of itself. Snake plant The snake plant focuses on doing its important work at night. It sucks in carbon dioxide and releases oxygen during the night, helping people sleep better. Many choose to keep it in their bedroom or carpeted living room. As with many of the plants on this list, it's easy to take care of and it can even prevent the formaldehyde that leaks from your carpet and wood furniture from sticking around the air. Azaleas If you use low quality and toxic detergents and cleaners in your home, this plant can help filter the air in your kitchen. It's highly recommended to use environmentally sustainable cleaners that don't make the air in your home toxic to begin with. Chinese Evergreen what truly makes the Chinese evergreen cool is the development of its effectiveness. The more time the plant spends in a space, the more effective it becomes at removing the air pollutants and toxins of the area. Much like the peace lily, it can happily exist in even a low light setting and can often bloom and produce berries as well. Peace lily The perfect fit for any laundry or bathroom, the peace lily specializes in the removal of mold spores. The plant itself does not require large amounts of water or sunlight to survive, and even features often beautiful flowers that make it a decorative piece. In addition to mold, the plant is also known to remove formaldehyde and trichloroethylene. However, if you own or live with cats, the peace lily is known to be extremely toxic to them if they consume it. Bamboo Palm Normally never growing larger than 10 feet tall, the bamboo palm is an easy addition to almost any interior space. As a plant, it is recognized as one of the best at filtering out benzene and trichloroethylene, both of which can regularly creep into our living spaces. The bamboo palm is also great next to pieces of furniture that may be prone to off-gassing formaldehyde, another toxin it can naturally handle pretty well as well. English Ivy if you grow English ivy, it's best for pots due to its invasive nature. Research found it to be useful in eliminating airborne fecal matter particles. The plant is also great for a family who still allows smokers to smoke inside. Its ability to soak up carcinogens from secondhand smoke helps to purify small areas. It's flexible when it comes to growing conditions and doesn't require much maintenance. Jibera daisy when placed indoors, this popular annual is used in removing benzene and providing mood-enhancing beauty to the home. However, keep in mind that the Jibera daisy does best in warm temperatures at 75 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. Aloe Vera The aloe vera plant is incredibly easy to grow and maintain, and like many of its counterparts, is wonderful for filtering out air pollutants and toxins. However, what sets the aloe vera plant apart is the healing ability of the gel within each of its leaves. Rich in vitamins A, C, E, B1, B2, B12 and many more, the gel can effectively be used to heal cuts and burns. Aloe has also been linked to assist with detoxification, alkalinity, digestion and immune system, skin health and more. It is truly a super plant that can even be easily grown in a small pot on a windowsill. Chrysanthemum morifolium 
also known as Pot Mum. Good for removing benzene, the Pot Mum is also a colourful addition to the home in fall when many other flowering plants are past their prime. Rubber Plant like its name suggests, the rubber plant is one tough character, capable of surviving and thriving in much less light and lower temperatures than most plants of its size. Of all ficus plants tested, it scored the best in removing toxins and pollutants from inside of homes. It is especially tough on formaldehyde. Dracaena Fragrance Proven to help remove formaldehyde, the mass cane corn plant is one of the most popular varieties of dracaenas for its lovely foliage that ranges from green to yellow. They look stunning in tree form but can also be grown as shrubs. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments below which of these 13 oxygen bomb plants you're excited to place in your home. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos like this one.